Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Pacific Tomb. And today I'm bringing you guys a microtransactions video. Basically, I'm going to be giving you guys the rundown of how it works, how I got it, and also what I've decided to do with my microtransactions and the stuff that I've bought. So you guys will be able to see some of this stuff in a little bit. So let me just go ahead and jump into it. So first off, I want to go ahead and show you guys that I finally hit 55, level 55. I haven't prestiged yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I doubt that I will. Um, I have enough classes as it is, and I honestly, the only thing I would ever do <sighs> is just reset my stats. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing, and, um, you know, this is this is pretty much it. So let me go ahead and show you guys this real quick. All right, so... Go to public match. Go to create classes. My, my my net is always on moderate. Anyway, before I do that, let me show you guys what happens. So if you guys want to purchase the microtransactions, what you do is you come down to the multiplayer menu and then you go to store. And then after that, you have you can choose from the map packs. You can choose from custom avatars, personalization packs. And this would be like the jungle warfare camo stuff. Calling card packs, extra slot pack, and extra map pack or map packs. And this is what you want if you want the extra classes. Basically what this allows you to do is you can have 10, you can have, let's see, you can have 10 sets of classes with 5 classes in each. If you decide to prestige, you'll end up having 10 sets with 10 classes so this is what I have right now I have 10 sets of classes and 5 sets in each so I have 50 classes right now so far these are divided up into certain types of classes that I use if I'm playing against certain types of people in this first class you'll notice I'm using a lot of ghosts I'm using a lot of perks I'm using ghost scavenger dexterity and toughness or flak jacket and uh, flak jacket is substituted with hardline um, this is an AN94 class, that's an M8A1 class, PDW, Vector, LSAT, PDW, MP7, MSMC, Hammer, DSR, Type 25, MTAR, LSAT, MSMC, Scorpion Evo, PDW, DSR, MP7, Scorpion Evo, M27. A lot of this stuff is just variations of classes so I'll probably let me show you guys let me see if I can show you guys one thing I'll show you guys two actually and why I use what I use uh, actually there's a specific tier that I was using the other day that worked out very very well for me and I can't exactly remember what it is this is it so right here this is more of an offensive type of you know set that I have and this is why I decided to go ahead and purchase all these classes because it allows me to set up multiple types of classes for multiple types of situations so uh, this is a vector with quick draw fast mag and long barrel a cat 40 c4 lightweight scavenger and dexterity the reason that I use this is a similar similar type of setup to my um, to my scorpion evo setup that I like to use I like to use stock fast mag and quick draw except I just decided to uh, switch this up and I'll probably switch this up again also, this is my second class. This is a Hardline Scavenger Dexterity MSMC with C4, B23R Secondary, Stock, Extended Mag, and Quick Draw. This is a very good setup that I like to use if I'm rushing with this SMG. And it works out every single time that I decide to use it. It works, it, it, it works wonders, to be honest. And I also feel as though the Treyarch didn't, uh, they didn't really patch the guns in this game. I feel as though they just, uh, I don't know. But Treyarch never really seems to fully patch their guns. That's just me. The next thing that I'm using here, this is a Scar class that I'm trying to level up. I want to level this up so I can get Stock and Silencer and then decide to, you know, move around with the perks and everything. This is one of my favorite classes that I've been using lately. This is a Hardline Scavenger Dexterity C4 EMP Nade AN94 with Primary Gunfighter using Stock, Quick Draw, and the Silencer. This setup works very, very well. And it depends on the type of, you know, score streak setups that I'm using. But every time I use this, I always go positive with it. And I haven't had too many issues with this class. Recoil isn't very, very hard to manage. It just works out very, very well for me. Next thing is a Ghost, Flak Jacket, Scavenger, Toughness, Dexterity, C4, Stock, MTAR. 
Now, I like this setup. I'm trying to work on this for Silencer, but it's very, very hard playing this so like trying to play this game solo. I just don't like it. I I like playing it with my friends. It's what makes it enjoyable. So um, the next thing is just stuff that I'm trying to level up. Uh, you have an FAL class here. Um, you have a light machine gun class here. I need to level this up so I can get a uh, stock and quick draw and a target finder and a silencer. Uh, same thing with this class setup. I wanted to, you know, have a class setup with a shotgun on it so I could, you know, play defensive and also play objective. But this is basically the point of the microtransactions. It allows me to be able to adapt to any situation. One thing, if you're in game and you want to be able to use this, you can't switch in between these classes in-game, which is very, very annoying. I don't know if they can patch that. I doubt that they will be able to, and I doubt that they will patch it because they haven't patched anything else with this game. But my point is, you you have to set this tier. Like, if you, like, you control this by doing your LB and your RB. If you don't do LB and RB, or if you don't pick the specific tier that you want to use you're stuck with a tier that you may not want to use in game so that means that you have to set it to you know tier one with etc etc before game or tier two etc etc tier three tier four tier five tier six tier seven and that's exactly how it goes so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little uh... microtransactions video and another uh... class setup video if you guys would like to see my combat record don't forget to leave a comment and a like down below i doubt that i'll uh... You know, I'll do like a specific goal for, you know, a combat record video, but I'll be sure to show you guys that in another video. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Toon. I'm out. Peace. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter.